Hello, wonderful internet world. This is Elizabeth back again with another video from um, my site and my uh, channel in Creative Solutions. So, um, I am currently working through a few new purchases, um, some journals that I recently purchased some pens and markers. So today for this video, we're going to be looking at these beautiful, beautifully packaged anyways, um, Crayola, Crayola signature detailing gel pens, metallic and glitter effects on light or dark paper. I actually don't have any dark paper, which I'm suddenly really wishing I did. Um, but I'm going to have to buy some and I may have to do another video I'm just pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure I have black construction paper at school. Um, being a first and second grade teacher, I'm sure I have black construction paper at school. But of course, I don't have any here with me now where I'm recording. So that may have to be a video in the future. But today we are going to look at these beautiful signature, Crayola signature detailing pens on the Moleskin plain journal that I picked up. Um, I have a couple of journals I've been looking at and trying to just kind of figure out what do I like? What do I want to work with? Um, I have the moleskin. I have an artist loft. Just kind of seeing what what products bleed through what and getting to know the different products on the different papers. So all that said, let's get started. So I'm super excited to break into this. It's really hard to be patient and wait to look at some of these things until I can do it on camera. Um, so I'm really excited. So you can see kind of on this little corner piece right here, um, all of the different glitter and metallic effects that we're going to find in the box. Um, and just to just sort of, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't really spoil the surprise because you don't, it doesn't really tell you what they look like on the paper. But here's all of the different colors we're going to get. Um, we're going to get a set of glitter gel pens and metallic gel pens. So let's open up this tin. This tin, by the way, is just beautiful. Um, Honestly, I wish I could think of right off what I'll do with it. Maybe I'll just store the pins in it, but it's very pretty. All right. So we have the pins come in this lovely black lift case. So here's all of our glitter pins on top, it looks like. And then our metallic pins and one more glitter pin on the bottom. So there's the casing and then the bottom of the 10 which happens I love this it's the little things in life that make you really happy especially when when you're a teacher and you're busy and you just want more space the bottom of the 10 fits snugly into the top of the 10 to mean all of a sudden I have only to store one piece it's wonderful. It's like I said, it's the little things in life some days. All right, let's pop these out. Um, one of the first things I'm noticing is it looks like this is a silver pen and this is a, oh, this is black, so they aren't the same. I was going to say, it looks like there might be some same. It looks like these ones, there might be a same in the metallic as well. Let's see. We'll see when we get in there. And it may be just, um, it may just be that the captor are deceiving me. It be, I hope they have, we have all unique colors. Oh, excuse me, that was a big yawn. It is um, getting a little bit late where I am in the world. <laughs> Definitely well past dark. So anyway, let's get this show on the road. So um, last time I worked with this sketchbook, I worked with my Mr. Sketch from crayons, gel crayons, and markers. And you can see they did really well. They didn't bleed through. So today, let's look at some Crayola glitter gel pens. So we'll start with the glitter gel pens because, because I, because I love glitter. Um, like I really love glitter. So of course we'll start with glitter. Crayola glitter 
gel pens. Ta-da! Of course, using my Sharpie pen, being um, a little bit of a Sharpie fan girl again. All right, I'm actually going to do them in order from my little box here so we can kind of compare how true to color these are to the actual pens. I think that means I'm going to be making circles instead of squares today. Let's start with pink. Um, I do appreciate a couple things about these pens right off. Um, so a lot of times with, with like Sharpies or Mr. Sketch markers, like you don't necessarily get the name of the color on the barrel. Um, and those are some of my favorites to use. So these actually say the color pink and it says that it's glitter. So if for whatever reason, you know, you were using six of these at once, which is the kind of thing I would do. Um, and you didn't know which cap went to which you could figure out the pink glitter cap. And then the other thing they have, um, are these really nice rubber grips, which I tend to press really hard and, and hold my pins really tight and, um, just tend to be a little bit more tense in general. So for me, an extra comfy grip is, is always a good thing. All right. Um, so nice, nice pens. Let's see how they, let's see how they write. All right, a nice pink circle. Oh, very glittery. I'm not sure how well the glitter shows up on the camera, but for me, like, that is a nice bit of glitter in that pen. Hopefully you guys can see that. I think I may need to make bigger circles, though. Just seeing that first shot when I went back down. All right, the next one is red. So we've got red glitter. Oh, the lids are tight, which is probably really a good thing. Ugh, it means they're less likely to fall off when you're moving them around. But for me, at the end of the day, being tired and feeling slightly wimpy, Probably not great to have them on <laughs> super tight. These are just very shimmery, which is so cool. Um, orange. Let's see. I feel like it's just, let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit more. All right. Adjust where my paper is. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, Unfortunately, if I get too close up, then I don't have enough space to move around and I end up out of frame constantly. All right, so here's some orange glitter. Nice little snap. Some yellow. Ooh. It's pretty. Some green. I may have to start using these in my planner at work for all my lessons. Every lesson will be better when it's written down in glitter. Just you watch. I'm going to try it next next semester and I'll let you know how, ah, how much my lesson plans improve when I write all of them in glitter. Ah, oh, so pretty. So pretty. I love that blue. Uh, sky blue, actually. This is sky blue. And then this is blue blue. They're very juicy pins as well. Um, I'm not going to do it till the end, but I feel like right after I write with them, I could just like run my finger through it and like take the ink with me, which I, I will actually do at the end to see what happens. Because I need to know, and you need to know. Because that's why you're watching. Because you want to know. Ah, uh, they're just, they're so pretty. <laughs> All right, that was purple, violet. That was violet. Gold. Silver, a 
And finally, ho oh, ho, black. Ooh, that really smears when it's wet. These are very juicy pens, like I said. Um, I'm going to do another circle. <laughs> you can see it on my finger. <laughs> I've got glitter on my fingers now. i do another one because I took a lot of the glitter off with me when I ran my finger through that. So needless to say, right after you write with these, you'll want to wait a second to let them dry. But, you know, aside from my now very glittery finger. Let's take a look at these colors. These are just so pretty. You can see the pink, I went over it again to make the circle a bit bigger. I don't know what my phone's doing. Um, and you can see it's a little bit more streaky that way. Let me get you focused, there we go. So we have the pink and the red and the orange and the yellow and the green and the sky blue and the blue blue. It's having a hard time with this one. Huh, let's see. There we go. Zooming back out, that helps a lot. And then you can see, even though I streaked the black, you can still see a lot of glitter in it. I was worried it all come off on my finger. So pretty. Get some interesting effects when you streak it like that. Hmm. All right. Let's check out. Let's zoom back in a little bit. Let's check out the other set. So those were our glitter pens. I'm going to scoot those off to the side. Let's check out these metallics. Oh, I said I was going to do these in order so that we could kind of look and see um, how close they were to the picture on the side. Uh, the pink is definitely a lot darker. The red is not as red. Orange is pretty true. Yellow is pretty true. Blue or green, sky blue, blue, violet. Yeah, the rest of them. I think just the pink and the red are kind of, kind of deceiving on there. They don't quite look that way. We'll do the same thing with the metallics and compare those at the end too. All right, let's take a look at some Crayola. Metallic pens, metallic gel pens. And I'll do the same thing with the last one on the metallics too and see how it does. Crayola. Metallic gel pens. And first things first, pink. Now I'm going to just <laughs> complain right off about the fact that to me that pink and this lid pink don't look anything alike. So we'll see what the color ends up looking like. Like the lid or like the picture. With the glitter ones it wasn't quite the same because they were like clear see-through glittery things but all right here goes. Nice big circle there. That actually looks, that just seems more like a purpley color than a pink to me. It looks more like the lid than the picture. Just to show you real quick. But it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But then again, it's shimmery and shiny. And what's not to love about shimmery and shiny? Uh, these pens are the same as the glitter pens in the sense that they have the rubber grip, they have metallic, they have the color name on them, the lids are nice and tight, for better or worse. Uh oh, did I lose a pen? It says orange, but I don't see an orange. Let's see. There's gold. Oh. I guess this is the orange. That does not look orange to me. That looks yellow. So I did not lose a pen, thankfully, but you'll have to learn that this is orange, not yellow. Or gold, which is what I really thought it was at first.
No, oh, it's pretty. It definitely doesn't look very much like the orange though. So again, kind of just to give you a sneak peek over here. Um, you can see the pink, it's pink, red, and orange, and they really don't look a lot like the colors on the package, but they're still incredibly pretty and very, um, very metallic, very shimmery. All right, moving on. Let's go to the gold, which is this weird yellow color. Brown? I don't know. That's not an attractive lid. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I think that's a very attractive gold color. I much, I think it looks much more yellow, but I prefer, much prefer this shade of gold to what they have in this one. Uh, green, which at least has a green looking lid. And then we have sky blue. Purple, violet, I'm sorry, not purple, violet. Ah, there we go. They aren't hard to take off after the first time I've noticed. So the ones I've had to take off again, they only seem to be quite that tough first go round. And then I have gray and silver, which I honestly thought I'd gotten to it the same color. All right, so here's the gray. Pretty. It'll be interesting to see what the silver looks like if they're any different. And our silver. Ooh, that's a lot lighter. A little worried there. All right, let's do my finger test. Whoosh. Yeah, definitely very smeary ink. But that means, like, on the upside, these are really juicy pens. I imagine, too, like, when you're drawing with them and writing with them, um, they're going to look a lot different than making a circle with them. Um, so much so. Let's take our two, because purple is my favorite color. We're going to take our two shades of purple. And before we finish our video, I'm just going to write my, my, um, business name, I guess, in each one. Because when you can't think of anything to write, why not? So there's it. It's so I'm under in creative solutions. So there's it in metallic purple. Some of them are easier the second time, apparently, than others. And here it is in the glitter. And they are really pretty. Like, I know they looked a little streaky when I was doing my circles with them, but because I was going over and over and over again. Um, but really when, oh, I'm sorry, I was out of screen. But when you, when you get down to uh, writing with them, they're, they're really beautiful. All right, let's get a close-up look for these. So these are all of our metallic shades, which if you're not comparing them to the lids or the box, are just beautiful colors but they don't look a whole lot like the lid or the box. And then writing with them. So we have the two shades of purple, the metallic and the glitter. And so all together. Now we haven't looked yet at the back of the paper, which you can definitely see through, but it didn't look like it had a ton of ink bleed through. Although I say that and then I'm noticing over here, I mostly thought it was just the indents, but I do have some bleed through on this side of the page, especially from those glitter pens. So you can see there's a little ink coming through. So you'll definitely, if you're using these heavily, um, you'll definitely want to put a paper in between. But when I was writing with them, like there's nothing, just me pushing too hard. <laughs> so it's going through to the next side. Um, but there's no bleed through on the ink and there's a lot less with the metallics as well. So that's it for my 
look at the Crayola glitter gel pens and the Crayola metallic gel pens. I think these are amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I'll really start planning with them, but I, but I might try to plan in glitter and metallics because um, glitter. And um, how do you get enough glitter? So these, I just love these. These are beautiful. Um, if you enjoyed our video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm super glad to have everybody here. Um, if you want to see more, definitely check out my channel. But uh, no, I don't post weekly or regularly. I am a full-time teacher. And um, anybody who has ever taught knows that that is more than a full-time job. And I'm also a mom of two boys. So that keeps me busy. So generally speaking, over the breaks, you'll see a rush of videos uploaded. And then the rest of the time... Um, Maybe something here or there, but not a lot. Um, I try to keep my my blog a little more updated, but I'm still pretty hit or miss on that. Um, I also have my Etsy store, which I am pretty good about maintaining, but new products, again, don't really come out until the breaks. So, yeah, there's lots of places to check me out. If you enjoyed this, like I said, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope to see you again soon on my channel. Um, one more look at that amazing glittery beauty. All right. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.